Hi, welcome to Everfresh Supermarket. My name is Abi. I'm the meat department manager here at Everfresh. Welcome to this week's edition of How Do I Cook That? Today I'm going to talk to you about cooking short ribs. Short ribs is always usually on more on the expensive side. However, at Everfresh we have it on sale this week. Short ribs comes from plate flunkin. Flunkin looks similar to this. It's also best used in cholent and a lot of different soups and stews. But when you cut it in between each bone, they are called short ribs. This is the end result. You get the bone with all that beautiful, flavorful meat on the top of it. This is how you would cook this. You would put it into a pan, bone down, so the meat doesn't get stuck to the pan. You're gonna put a bone down on, on into a pan, and you're going to add the following uh, ingredients. You're going to add three to four cups of Coke, yes, Coke, Coca-Cola. You could substitute the seltzer or the beer or even to like a dietetic soda. However, the corn syrup from the Coke makes it really, really, really delicious and candid. That's what you want. So you're gonna put in three to four cups of Coke, about three tablespoons of honey, a half a cup of barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce of your choice, two tablespoons of light brown sugar, and a teaspoon of chili powder. This is chili powder. Chili powder is not cayenne pepper. Chili powder comes from a chili pepper um, and it gives it a nice um, musk spice to it. It's not extremely spicy, but when you put a teaspoon of chili powder in, it really gives it like a nice kick that you really want to taste, but it's not crazily spicy. Then you're going to cover it and you're going to place it into the oven on 350 for approximately two to three hours. Really up to you. I mean, two hours will be sort of like El Dante. However, three hours will really be off the bone looking good. Um, I would probably suggest uh, two to three short ribs per person uh, because they will shrink after they cook. Um, it's served great with mashed potatoes and a nice gravy. Again, that's all for this week's edition of How Do I Cook That?